Hey Rockers, here's a little tutorial on how to play larger than life on the keyboard. We're, for the most part, going to only be using three chords that are very simple. Even though the chord chart sometimes says minor, seventh, and all this, you can be able to accomplish everything with these three chord voicings and they sound really pro. It's a B minor chord. The notes B, D, and F sharp is the first one most used chord of the whole song. And then the second most used chord in the song is going to be this G chord, just white keys, G, B, and D. And the third chord, the A chord, A, C sharp, and E. We're going to be using those three chords mainly throughout the whole thing. The bridge is pretty complicated, so let's go over that chord by chord before we play anything. So the bridge is going to start with the same B minor chord we're talking about, but the tricky thing about this is the way it moves. The bottom two notes move down to the next two black keys, this A sharp and C sharp. Then I go down to an A chord, a, C sharp, and A. And again, the bottom two notes are going to move down again to the next two notes. A G sharp on the bottom, that black key, and a B in the middle. Then after that, we go all the way down to an E minor chord, then up to an F sharp major chord, three black keys in a row. Then after that, back to the B minor. The thumb steps down to A. Then a G chord and the final chord is that F sharp again, all three black keys. All right, so, oh, one final thing, is the melody, when the Cool and the Gang part of the song is being quoted, we're gonna be playing these notes as the Cool and the Gang riff. It starts on a B, then a C sharp, then a D, then an A, and then an F sharp. Now, I notice on the recording, his band isn't quoting that lick, but it's a real cool lick to throw in there. They may not end up wanting it, but check it out. Those are the notes that go into the riff at the spot that they're quoting Cool in the Gang. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to play along all this stuff with the jam track and just follow my hand the best you can. Here comes our intro, starting on the B minor chord. G, F sharp minor 7, break, 2, 3, 4, B minor. sharp minor 7. Remember, every time I say F sharp minor 7, I'm playing an A chord. The bass player plays F sharp, it's great. G, F sharp minor 7. Pre-chorus, G, F sharp minor 7, G, A, chorus, the first chorus, B minor twice. Same as the verse, G chord, F sharp minor 7, or A, B minor, twice, G, F sharp minor 7, and two final B minor chords, then a break, 1, 2, 3, 4, wait, 2, three. come in on G, G, 2, F sharp minor 7, repeat, B minor twice, G, F sharp minor 7, pre-chorus, G, F sharp minor 7, G, A, here comes the chorus, B minor, again, G, F sharp minor 7, repeat, B minor, G, F sharp minor 7. He's going to play this chord progression one more time and talk about, here comes the bridge, very sophisticated sounding bridge that we talked about before. Here comes the first chord, B minor. Bottom two notes move down. A chord. Bottom two notes move down. E minor. F sharp. Back to B minor. Only the thumb steps down. Here comes G. Finally, F sharp. Guitar solo. Same progression as the verse and the chorus. Here it comes again, B minor. G, A. Now here comes the cool in the gang quote. One, two, three. Here's those notes. I'm gonna do this riff four times. That was the second. Third one.
last one. Then we're in the last chorus. Here we go, B minor. G. A. Repeat. G. F sharp minor. Repeat those last two chords. G. F sharp minor. One more time. G. F sharp minor. And the ending riff. That's that, super friends. Have fun.